Okay guys, in this video we're going to go over a couple of different ways to work in Ableton. So we're going to go over the two main ways of working in Session View and Arrangement View. We're going to start with Arrangement View. An Arrangement View is is pretty straightforward. You all, all you have to do is just go in and grab a sample or maybe a, a sound, maybe a, a software synth synthesizer and create a mini clip and put it on the timeline where you want it to start playing. So I drag this ARP in here. This is one of the cymatics loops. I just dropped it in right here. But if I wanted it to start over here, I could just click it and drag it this way. So there's all this four bars of space before it starts playing. And I could make a new, uh, like I did right here, I could make a new audio track. Let me just Command-T, I'll delete all these plugins. The reason why these appeared right here is because I have a, a default pre uh, a default channel for uh, whenever I create an audio track. I have these three plugins appear, but yours will probably be blank just like this. So I created a new audio track just by pressing Command-T. I can also go up here and go to Insert Audio Track, the shortcut's right there. Um, and then I could just click and drag this sample right here and drag this in just like that. And if you have uh, your warp mode on, uh, if you have auto warp long samples on, like we went over in the uh, in the previous video for the preferences section, this will automatically be synced to the BPM. Notice that this is at 140 beats per minute and the project tempo is at 146. It's perfectly in sync. So we can do that. We can drag that around. We can uh, we can also uh, there's a couple of different ways to copy the clips. We can press Command C and then click right here and press Command V and paste it in that way. We can also press Command D, which will duplicate it. This will uh, basically copy and paste the exact uh, size of whatever you have selected. So if uh, say if I duplicated this whole section and included all of this space, it will duplicate that space as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and another way we could do it is by clicking, dragging, and notice, uh, pay attention to that little piece of paper right there underneath my mouse, uh, my cursor right there. Notice how it's just a blank sheet of paper. When I click and drag it and, and do that, it will just move the clip. But if I click and drag it while holding alt you see that plus sign on that piece of paper and then I let go it will make a copy of it so those are a couple of different ways to copy uh, copy clips in Ableton and that works the same for MIDI clips as well and now let's uh, let's delete these and go over to the session view now the session view works a little bit differently uh, we can click and drag these clips into our session view and we can just play them and they'll start looping. And these will just play continuously. Notice how uh, before when we were looking at the uh, when we were looking at the clip length that this one the drum loop was a lot shorter than this arpeggiated loop. You can see that right here what this uh, when we play it, see the cycle going through a lot faster. You can see this is still on its first cycle, and this one's already on its second. This is a 32-bar loop. This is a 16-bar loop. No, it's not, uh, or actually, no, I think that's beats, excuse me, not bars. So, let's say we have, you know, uh, we have this going, and we, we want to, uh, we want to bring them over into our uh, into our arrangement view. We could just click it, hold, and then uh, and press tab, and we can just drag it right there into arrangement view. Or we could press record, and then we could just hit play. We can count it in. We look over at arrangement view. notice that it's all all coming in right there and when we hit stop 
This is our this is our recording of the clips that we were launching. So this is a uh, this is more using session views more for a live performance type. You know, it's 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 basically if you're trying to if you're trying to make a DJ set or if you're trying to uh, you know. Use it. Use Ableton to play with your band, accompany live instruments. This is a, this is a much uh, a much more effective way to produce. If you're just looking to make beats and want to uh, make your own productions, uh, using arrangement view is a little bit easier. So, anyways, those are the two different workflow types. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of other variations that people have uh, have come up with over uh, over the years that Ableton's been out. But uh, as for as for the two ways that you know that Ableton offers, I think th these are more than sufficient. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.